Cerberus Assault Armor is designed for shock troops, who are expected to turn the tide of battle against creatures or forces that would decimate normal soldiers. The troops demanded three things in its design, shields and armor thick enough to last against a superior foe and a rechargeable pack to extend a heavy weapon's power cell. The only drawback of the armor is its weight, which the troops carry as a point of pride. They have a saying, out of shape going in, in shape coming out. Collector Chitin Armor Cerberus adapted this suit for you out of salvaged collector technology. The collector's chitinous armor is flexible and even tougher than ballistic fibers. Its organic construction allows it to be self-healing, and the muscle-like tissue that assists movement ensures it is comfortable to wear despite its weight. Originally created for Earth's Urban Combat Championship League, this Blood Dragon armor has undergone as much or more field testing than those of modern militaries. It uses a unique proprietary power cell that costs as much as an EUC rookie's contract. The armor's microframe computer adapts to any top-tier Omnitool, kinetic barriers or biotic amp giving breathtaking and error-free performance. The chest and shoulder piece bears the logo of the Edmonton Blood Dragons, and inside the armour bears the signatures of the entire team. When and how the elusive man got his hands on the armour is unknown, but several of the signatures bear messages such as Fuck the Geth, and Shepard, get well soon. Terminus armour is environmentally sealed with an independent air supply for use in space and extreme planetary conditions. This onboard microframe computer runs a suite of battle management software. To prevent detection by passive thermal sensors, body heat is channeled to the base of the feet and dispersed into the ground. Built specifically for Cerberus field officers, the Inferno armor has a VI dedicated to recognizing signs of stress and medical trauma. This application helps assess soldiers, but can be useful in any high-risk situation. The Inferno's microframe computer also manages biotic amp and omnitool power, and micro servos help the wearer's movements to counteract the armor's weight. The N7 helmet. Dual layer of fabric armor and kinetic padding within a lightweight ablative ceramic shell. Comes standard with a suite of communication, navigation, and battlefield awareness software. N7 breather helmet. Dual layer of fabric armor and kinetic padding within a lightweight ablative ceramic shell. Comes standard with suite of communication, navigation, and battlefield awareness software. Hard sealed to protect wearer from hazardous environmental conditions. The Sentry Interface This visor works within the Sentry system, the software application that optimizes an armor suit's microframe computer. When the Sentry system is running, more power can be devoted to shield management. The Umbra Visor A next generation night vision device that assists targeting. By detecting the focal point of the wearer's eyes and enhancing the image at that location, the visor helps direct a biotic power or a shot from an Omni tool exactly where the wearer is looking. The Recon Hood A hood issued to covert action teams, this model's optic display interfaces with most small arms auto-targeting software, linking hand and eye for improved accuracy and increased weapon damage. Ballistic mesh fabric and composite ceramic plating provide necessary armour, and the integral air filter helps in hostile environments. The Capacitor Helmet A recent design, this Alliance-made helmet stores micro-capacitors in its structure to replenish spent kinetic barriers. The Transpari Plast Armour panel on its top can be removed to access capacitors for field maintenance. The Archon Visor the Archon Visor uses an efficiency algorithm to balance processing power for biotic amps and omnitools. A heads-up display and voice command software allows users to micromanage the systems, reducing the cooldown period between energy expenditures. The Kestrel Helmet The Kestrel Armor Systems Helmet forgoes traditional transparent visors in favour of a reinforced faceplate with an internal heads-up display. The display connects to redundant micro cameras to allow naturalistic vision, and the helmet's weapon auto-targeting and shield software provides a substantial boost to performance. The N7 chest plate. Interlocking plates are thick, ablative ceramic plates, designed to be light, effective and easily repaired. The Aegis vest. Casa Fabrication's line of elite personnel protection equipment includes a series of interlocking ceramic plates covered in a proprietary tungsten alloy weave for maximum stopping power. The Kestro Torso Sheath 
The Kestrel Armor System's spinal mount processor synchronizes artificial torso muscle fibers with limb movements, allowing power to be generated by the legs, channeled through the core, and projected out through the arms. Stabilization of the firing platform assists in auto-targeting, and waist-mounted capacitors add to the power of kinetic barriers. The N7 shoulder guards, curved shell of ablative ceramic over kinetic padding. Kestrel shoulder pieces. The Kestrel armor system shoulder plates house backup capacitors for shield generation. Artificial muscle fibers based on spider silk reinforce the shoulders, allowing for more powerful movements. The N7 gauntlets, a combination of fabric armor with kinetic padding and plates of ablative ceramic for protection. Offhand ammo pack, a simple but popular modification developed by the Elcos Combine and favored among mercenary groups and military personnel on active assignment. Kestrel armor sheathing, artificial muscle fibers controlled by the Kestrel armor system central processor allow for both gross motor movements and precision support of the hands. This steadies aim in a manner compatible with most firearm auto-targeting systems. Additional capacitors for shield generation are installed on the ulnar side of the forearm. N7 Greaves Dual layer of fabric armour and kinetic padding beneath the thick plates of ablative ceramic and lined with additional kinetic barrier emitters. Life Support Webbing Within a wearable framework, the CERTA Foundation developed an innovative net of microstimulants and medigel in order to increase the chances of survival for aid workers and military personnel working in a hostile environment. The Kestrel Power Pack The Kestrel Armor System's hip-mounted power pack provides emergency energy for kinetic barriers and heavy weapons. The Capacitor Chest Plate Micro-wells developed by the Armax Arsenal store part of the energy directed at the armour and use it to jumpstart the kinetic barrier recharge cycle. The Kuashi Visor Developed by Ariake Technologies, the wearer exchanges full protective coverage for visibility, unencumbered mobility and increased accuracy. The Stimulator Conduits Incorporating a series of beryllium and tungsten braces and micro-servos to support and enhance the natural movements of the wearer for short periods of time. Originally developed by the CERTA Foundation for Search and Rescue Personnel, it has been adapted for military use. Heavy skin weave, lattice shunting, cybernetic upgrade. Strong synthetic fibres can be woven through the skin, dramatically reducing damage taken from most attacks. These fibres also act as a metagel conduit, improving healing. Pijack meat. Fresh, raw pijack meat is a favourite of Varan everywhere. Stabilisation gauntlets. Heavy damping gauntlets. Armax Arsenal added microharmonic oscillators to reduce stress on the kinetic barriers, ensuring suit integrity when faced with oncoming projectiles. Death Mask. Developed by the Tyriel Advanced Communications Corporation, the Death Mask not only offers exceptional protection, but also includes an advanced audio processing package that allows for unprecedented clarity and resonance for spoken communication. The Asymmetric Defense Layer. Offering increased protection where it's needed most, Ross & Kov's materials proprietary coating process increases stopping power of standard ceramic armour. The Shield Harness A series of ultra-efficient storage cells designed by Armax Arsenal to augment the existing power in the operation of the wearer's kinetic barrier. The M8 Avenger Assault Rifle A common, versatile, military-grade assault rifle, accurate when fired in short bursts and deadly when fired on full auto, the Avenger is effective at penetrating shields, armour and biotic barriers. The modular design and inexpensive components of the Avenger make it a favourite of military groups and mercenaries alike. The Avenger has a reputation for being tough, reliable, easy to use and easy to upgrade. Manufactured by the Elcos Combine. The Collector's Assault Rifle uses the same principles as a human assault rifle, but its organic components clearly set it apart. Its power source seems to be an internal organ with biotic capacitance. Its ammunition resembles pellets of metallic enamel that strip shields off enemies with deadly efficiency. The M96 Matok Heavy Rifle Medium range, semi-automatic rifle that is effective against armour, shields and barriers. Upgrades the Avenger Assault Rifle The Matok is a semi-automatic hybrid weapon with an assault rifle's low heat production and a sniper rifle's punch. Though it does not have a sniper rifle's precision scope, marksman favourites increased power over that of an assault rifle to bring down hardened targets. 
Its lack of a full auto setting is advertised as a feature, rather than a shortcoming, since it curbs a soldier's tendency to spray an accurate fire under stress. The M23 Katana Shotgun A common military shotgun, deadly at short range but ineffective at long range. Very effective against shields and biotic barriers, but weak against armour. Manufactured by Ariake Technologies, the Katana is a common mercenary weapon and is also popular on colonies with Varan infestations. The M22 Eviscerator Shotgun The Liebeschaft 2180 shotgun, or Eviscerator, is of human civilian design and has a unique ammunition generator. Where most modern firearms shave off chips or pellets from an ammunition block, the M22 shaves off serrated metal wedges designed to fly aerodynamically. This dramatically improves its armour-piercing capabilities and its tight grouping helps wound ballistics at longer ranges than standard shotguns. This design also violates several intergalactic weapons treaties, so the M22 is not distributed to militaries. The Geth Plasma Shotgun This three-barreled Geth weapon fires miniature but potent cluster rounds of superconducting projectiles and has a longer range than standard shotguns. A two-stage trigger system allows for either quick-fire capacitors or a charge and release attack to electrify the projectiles as they exit the weapon. As the rounds hit the target, they fragment, and electricity arcs between the pieces, flash converting the air to conductive plasma. The resulting heat, impact, and electrical charge overload shields and barriers and causes massive trauma to unarmored targets. The M92 Mantis Sniper Rifle A powerful sniper rifle able to take out most targets in a single shot. Incredibly accurate at long range, but rate of fire is slow. Effective against armour, but weaker against shields and biotic barriers. Manufactured by Devlon Industries, the Mantis is primarily used by police and planetary militia groups. The prevalence of kinetic barriers has made this weapon less popular with the military, but it is used more frequently in the Terminus systems where these defences are less common. The M29 Incisor Sniper Rifle the Incisor is one of a new wave of military and police sniper rifles designed to overload active defences such as shields. Firing three shots with each pull of the trigger, the Incisor's burst is so fast that all three rounds will be in the target by the time the barrel has moved a millimetre, increasing its stopping power without sacrificing accuracy. As an added benefit, the noise of the burst is comparable to a single rifle shot in duration, making it no easier to locate the sniper by sound. The M3 Predator Heavy Pistol Reliable, accurate sidearm. Effective against armour, weak against shields and biotic barriers. Manufactured by Elenus Risk Control, the Predator is valued as a powerful, deadly and relatively inexpensive weapon. While it is not generally deployed in the military, where kinetic barriers are common, it's still very popular in the Terminus systems, where these defences are less common. M5 Phalanx Heavy Pistol Highly accurate and lethal sidearm, effective against armour, weak against shields and biotic barriers. Upgrades to the Predator heavy pistol. The M5 Phalanx is the product of the Alliance's offensive handgun project that developed a close-in weapon to be used on armoured or shielded targets with no loss of stopping power in comparison to the soldier's assault rifle. The Phalanx enjoys a ballistics advantage even over most hand cannons and features an integral laser sight which is highly visible even in bright lighting conditions. Civilian variants are often purchased by colonists on planet that have particularly dangerous big game animals. The M100 Grenade Launcher Rapid fire grenade launcher favoured by Blood Pack Fortune mercenaries. Capable of taking down multiple enemies with a single well placed shot, effective against armour, shields and biotic barriers. The M490 Blackstorm Singularity Projector the Black Storm, colloquially called the Black Hole Gun, encases particles of matter within a high-powered, mass-increasing field, elevating them to near-infinite mass. This creates a gravitational singularity that draws nearby enemies and objects inward for a short time. The rapidly increasing gravity near the singularity's event horizon rips the objects apart. The mass effect field soon destabilizes and returns to normal mass, with explosive results. The arc projector ionises targets with a non-visible laser to ready them for a high voltage electrical attack. As the lightning light -like bolt hits the first target, a sophisticated auto-targeting system paints succeeding targets with the ionisation laser, allowing the electricity to take the path of least resistance and arc between them. An entire enemy strike team can be shocked to death with a few pulls of the trigger. The Vindicator Battle Rifle 
a battle rifle favoured by assassins and elite mercenaries that fires in highly accurate five round bursts and can be pulsed for rapid fire. Deadly at any range and effective against armour, shields and biotic barriers, upgrades the Avenger Assault Rifle. Manufactured by Elanus Risk Control Services for the Blue Suns Mercenary Group, the Vindicator is quickly gaining popularity in the Terminus systems. The Carnifex Hand Cannon Highly accurate and lethal sidearm, effective against armour, weak against shields and biotic barriers. Upgrades the Predator Heavy Pistol. The Carnifex is a favoured sidearm of mercenary leaders and Eclipse mercenary tech specialists. An expensive but powerful weapon. Its marketing materials feature a charging Krogan with the slogan, Don't you wish Carnifex was at your side? The Hack Module. Omnitool upgrade, doubles the time limit for hack. In the ongoing war between security software companies and hackers, Cerberus seeks to maintain a list of primary backdoors, little known security holes that have been active for some time and remain unpatched. Ongoing research in this area should improve operatives' ability to hack through most conventional security measures. Shotgun damage, synchronized pulsar. Increases damage by 10%, improves shotguns, heavy shotguns and assault shotguns for your entire squad. This upgrade improves the weapon's mass effect field generator, increasing the mass and acceleration of each round fired. Upgrades improve your squad members' powers, your weapons and your ship, making mission success more likely. Acquire new upgrades by finding them on missions, purchasing them from stores or research them using a research terminal. Weapon upgrades are modular technological improvements integrated into any weapon. When a weapon upgrade is obtained, it's automatically integrated into the appropriate weapon. Obtain weapon upgrades in stores and by scanning items on missions. Assault Rifle Damage Kinetic Pulsar This upgrade strengthens a weapon's mass effect field generator, increasing the velocity of each slug fired. Assault Rifle Penetration Tungsten Jacket The slug's tungsten content is increased and the weapon's computer is recalibrated, improving penetration of heavily armoured targets. A phasic envelope surrounds each slug before it is fired to the target. This disrupts any mass effect field protecting the target, resulting in better penetration. Biotic damage, hyperamp. Standard firmware shipping with bioamps is designed to work with a variety of alien races and nervous systems. By hacking this firmware to relax built-in safety protocols, more powerful mass effect fields can be generated. Each hack must be done carefully, tuned to the individual's nervous systems, or there's risk of nervous system damage, sensation loss, or blindness. Damage Protection, Ablative VI. This comprehensive systems upgrade offers improved protection for all squad members, regardless of team members' individual defensive strategies. Hack Module, Predictive Display, doubles the time limit for hack. In the ongoing war between security software companies and hackers, Cerberus seeks to maintain a list of primary backdoors, little known security holes that have been active for some time and remain unpatched. Ongoing research in this area should improve operatives' ability to hack through most conventional security measures. Heavy Weapon Ammo – Microfusion Array The power cell technology used by heavy weapons is fairly old, but can be improved by rebuilding the core with more modern components. These improvements allow standard power cells to yield more shots per power cell and allow for more total shots to be fired. The M622 Avalanche Cryo Round technology is used to modify standard weapon slugs. A cooling laser collapses the ammunition into Bose-Einstein condensate, a mass of supercooled subatomic particles capable of snap-freezing impacted objects. Normandy scientists have found a way to apply this technology on a large scale. By generating a mass effect containment bubble, this proof-of-concept large weapon technology is effective against armour, shields and biotic barriers. It is nicknamed the Cryoblaster. The ML-77 missile launcher Rapid file missile launcher with seeking projectiles, effective against armor, shields, and biotic barriers. Missile launchers are surfacing with increasing frequency among the Terminus system's mercenary bands, but their origin is unknown. Each projectile features a friend or foe recognition system, ensuring it will find a hostile target, though not necessarily the one in the crosshairs. In urban situations, it is useful for taking out snipers and other entrenched enemies, so it is popular with the Blue Sun's mercenary band. It is nearly impossible to duplicate as it uses fabrication rights management technology. Medigel Capacity Microscanner All modern combat armour incorporates a first aid interface. 
Microprocessors in this interface monitor vital functions and release small localised doses of Medigel to accelerate the healing process. Manually timed heavy doses of Medigel can be released in response to major trauma. However, the efficiency of this is dependent on proprietary medical software that cannot be copied and is prohibitively expensive. Cerberus has developed its own software and is actively working to improve its efficiency. The Morden Omni tool. Morden built his own Omni tool and can make significant upgrades given the proper materials. Sniper rifle damage, Scram Pulsar. This upgrade improves the weapon's mass effect field generator, increasing the mass and acceleration of each slug fired. Submachine gun damage, Microfield Pulsar. This upgrade improves the weapon's mass effect field generator, increasing the velocity of each slug fired. Tech damage, multi-core amplifier. Standard Omni tools are calibrated with wide neural input tolerance range, so they can be used effectively by any race. By tuning the inputs of the Omni tool to match the specific neural patterns of the user, responsiveness and power can be greatly increased. Once tuned in this manner, the Omni tool is almost unusable by anyone but the wearer and it must be constantly recalibrated to subtle neural shifts. Tech duration, custom heuristics. Traditional Omni tools are tuned for precise and delicate work. Eclipse engineers tune their Omni tools in an opposite manner, focusing on quickly releasing raw energy, but rendering them incapable of performing delicate work without swapping in an alternate tool. Cerberus has prototyped a multiple operating system approach that should allow one Omni tool to run dozens of configurations, with instantaneous swapping as the user switches tasks. This should result in better performance at each individual task. Trauma Module, Medical VI. Unity heals your squad to full health. A standard first aid interface can stabilize a badly wounded soldier, preventing death from all but the most serious wounds. The base technology, however, is ineffective on conscious soldiers, who are currently taking fire as each pain signal resets the process. The trauma module separates the Medigel administration into two layers, active and passive. The active layer constantly distributes small amounts of Medigel to fresh wound sites. The passive layer handles major deployments to incapacitating wounds. When large amounts of Medigel are deployed to incapacitated squad members, fighting members are also healed. M451 Firestorm. Short range, the Firestorm suppresses the regenerative capabilities of Vortra and Krogan, effective against armor, shields and biotic barriers. Ship Enhancements. The Normandy represents the cutting edge of Cerberus fleet technology, but further improvements are possible and could assist you in succeeding in missions. Discover possible enhancements by talking to your crew. Medbay upgrade, dermal regeneration, Upgrades the Normandy's medical facilities with an advanced dermal regeneration unit. Using this unit will immediately and completely heal your scars. Further scarring will not occur regardless of the actions you take. Advanced training tactical mastery. Through intensive training, Shepard can learn to use a single bonus power. Obtaining more loyal squad members will increase the number of powers available for Shepard. Shepard can complete this research project multiple times. Each time the project is completed, Shepard selects a new bonus power, and any points already spent transfer to the newly selected bonus power. Subject Zero Biotic Boost, Multicore Implants. Jack gets plus 20% biotic damage. Jack's vital signs show progressive neural degeneration, which would normally decrease her potential ability to generate mass effect fields. Instead, her ability appears to be increasing. Replacing the power module in her bioamp with a high capacity prototype module would dramatically increase the strength of Jack's biotics. Advanced Mineral Scanner, Argus Scanner Array, Normandy Mineral Scanner Upgrade. The Android Group's proprietary Argus Planet Scan technology has been integrated into the ship's systems. This will greatly speed up the planet scanning process. AP Sniper Rifle, Tungsten Sabot Jacket. Increasing the tungsten content of slugs and recalibrating the weapon's computer greatly improves penetration against heavily armoured targets. Redundant field generator, burst regeneration. Sometimes when Shepard's shields go down, they are instantly fully restored. Kinetic barriers have improved the survival rate of individual soldiers against modern weapons, but attempts to reinforce failing shields with backups have traditionally failed due to interference. This area has remained an active topic of research for Cerberus and a prototype redundant field generator has been created. With the proper investment, this can be miniaturized for personal use. Krogan Vitality Microfiber Weave. 
A scientist named Akia designed a retrovirus that matches the Krogan genetic code. Modifying the gene sequence of the virus and injecting a small amount into a Krogan can introduce a change in that genetic code. Prototypes Although prototype technology is advanced and powerful, it is also extremely expensive to produce and often unstable when used. Thanks to Cerberus' advanced science facilities and the genius of Dr. Mordin Solis, you have one of the few facilities in the world capable of producing these technologies. Each technology you produce will be powerful, but will upgrade only a single member of your squad. Discover prototype technology by scanning advanced technology on missions and discussing research with your squad members. Krogan Shotgun, Custom Claymore Grunt gets a Claymore Heavy Shotgun. Armoury scientists produced a single prototype for Grunt in violation of Council Space's weapon safety standards. The recoil on the Claymore is enough to break a human's arm. Fortunately, Grunt isn't human. Thanix Cannon, Particle Cannon. The Turian designed Thanix Magnetic Hydronamic Cannon is now installed on the Normandy. This cannon is powerful enough to destroy Collector Ship with repeated hits. Heavy Ship Armor, Solaris Armor Tech. Normandy Armor Upgrade. The Asari made Solaris Armor Upgrade is attached to the ship's superstructure. This will help hold the ship together if hit by a blast powerful enough to penetrate its shields. Heavy Bone Weave, Skeletal Lattice, Cybernetic Upgrade. Shepard takes 50% less damage from melee attacks. By reinforcing the skeleton with a synthetic weave, bones can be made almost unbreakable. In the event of bone trauma, Medigel conduits allow for bone regeneration in a matter of days. Heavy Muscle Weave, Microfiber Weave, Cybernetic Upgrade. Perforating the muscles with microfibers increases overall strength and decreases the potential for muscle damage from exertion. M920 Kane. The effectiveness and efficiency of mass effect based weapon technology has rendered large scale deployments of highly explosive weaponry all but obsolete in infantry weapons. Normandy scientists have prototyped a modified version of a traditional high explosive round that is applied to a 25 gram slug. When accelerated to 5 km a second, the round is devastating. Though a technically inaccurate label, this prototype weapon is nicknamed a nuke launcher, and its high explosive matrix generates an archetypal mushroom cloud on impact. Inflicts high damage with a large area of effect, very effective against armor shields and barriers. The Revenant machine gun unleashes a storm of deadly high velocity slugs, less accurate than an assault rifle, but has a high ammo capacity and deals much more damage. Effective against armor, shields and biotic barriers upgrades the Vindicator battle rifle. This custom-made machine gun features technology not widely available. Protective against replication by sophisticated fabrication rights management technology, only the richest and most powerful warlords can afford this weapon. The Claymore Heavy Shotgun. Very rare Krogan shotgun, deals high damage at short range, less effective at long range. Effective against armor, shields and biotic barriers. Upgrades the Scimitar Assault Shotgun. The Claymore is of human design but is only used by Krogan as the kickback from a single shot is enough to break a human's arm. Its large slugs are effective against armoured targets. Protected by sophisticated fabrication rights management technology, this weapon is nearly impossible to reproduce and is prohibitively expensive. The M98 Widow, accurate and deadly anti-material rifle, effective against armour, shields and biotic barriers, upgrades the Viper Sniper Rifle. Weighing in at 39 kilograms, the Widow anti-material rifle is primarily used by sniper teams in assault missions against armoured vehicles or Krogan. While kinetic barriers do offer effective protection on vehicles, the kind generated by conventional military field generators are far too weak against the Widow. The Widow was never designed to be carried and fired by a human. Although this modified model can be carried, no ordinary human could fire it without shattering an arm. Shotgun Shield Piercing Microphasic Pulse with the addition of a phasic module to the mass envelope field generator, each slug is encased in a phasic envelope before it is fired as a target. This disrupts any mass effect field protecting the target, resulting in superior penetration. Assault Rifle Accuracy – Targeting VI A smart targeting module calculates and compensates for minute barrel movements, weather and the environment. Firing on a target in a howling gale feels the same as it does in a calm day on a practice range. Smart targeting does not mean the bullet will automatically find the mark every time the trigger is pulled, it only makes it easy for the marksman to aim. Shotgun Extra Rounds 
Shotguns, heavy shotguns and assault shotguns double their rounds. This bonus affects the entire squad. More efficient heat sink materials improve the absorption and dissipation of heat. Allows for smaller, easier to carry heat sinks. Biotic cooldown. Generating a mass effect field requires significant concentration. After generating a field, all biotics require some rest before they have the mental focus and clarity to generate another. By tracking neural activity and recognising the individual patterns of the user, the AMP can better interpret the kind of field the biotic wishes to generate. This requires less focus when generating fields and reduces cooldown time. Hard Shields Nanocrystal Shield Cerberus has achieved limited success in studying Geth Shield technology. Its scientists don't completely understand why, but it seems Geth Shields are not as vulnerable to incoming projectiles. A breakthrough is imminent, however, and it is possible to make a modified Mass Effect field generator that mimics this technology. Tech Cooldowns Hydra Module Most Omni tools are tuned to have an effective lifespan of 10 or more years for precision work, and up to 50 for more general tasks. Disabling most safety protocols and installing an experimental power core improves efficiency, but reduces the expected operating lifespan by a factor of 20. Sniper headshot damage, combat scanner. Normandy scientists have prototyped a modification to the traditional smart targeting module commonly incorporated into high-end weaponry. While this technology is normally used to compensate for wind and recoil, it was adapted to slightly deflect rounds to strike a more vital part of an enemy's head. Emergency Shielding Shield Harmonics Shield emitters are optimised to produce a strong, reliable kinetic barrier that can be active for hours. Because of the potential for interference, it is nearly impossible to run two active emitters simultaneously. When one kinetic barrier is down, it's possible to activate a second, but this will generally interfere with the reactivation of the primary barrier. With precise timing, a short-term kinetic barrier can be made that seamlessly retracts when the primary barrier regenerates. Geth Shield Strength Cyclonic Particles Geth and Alliance technology diverged when Geth migrated beyond the Veil. While Geth technology is wholly incompatible with Alliance technology, this upgrade improves on Geth shielding by integrating recent Alliance advancements in redundant field generators. The Tempest Submachine Gun This submachine gun fires in long deadly bursts. Very effective against shields and biotic barriers, inaccurate at long range. Weak against armour, upgrades the Shuriken Machine Pistol. The commonality of kinetic barriers has led to increased demand for rapid-fire weapons like the Tempest. Produced by Alanus Risk Control Services for the Eclipse Mercenary Band, the Tempest is an expensive but deadly addition to anyone's personal arsenal. Multicore Shielding Cyclone Shield Tech The rapidly oscillating kinetic obstructions of cyclonic barrier technology are added to the ship. This should help the ship survive blasts like those that destroyed the first Normandy. Bypass Module Quantum Threading the unreliability of purely software-based security has given rise to electronic locks based on physical as well as electronic keys. Marketed as unhackable, these locks have gained popularity. Omnitool manufacturers responded by adding universal key capabilities to modern Omnitools. These require some level of skill, like a lockpick, but software assistance makes it possible for competent operatives to bypass most locks in time. Improvements to scanning and auto-correction software makes it possible to work locks over without triggering defences. Amplifier plates Using their expertise in policing dangerous situations with limited assets, Elanus Risk Control Services has created shoulder protection that includes an internal microcontrol system to maximise resources. Shot of liquor The best Asari hard liquor money can buy, much more refined than that Krogan swill. Glass of Wine, a sweet and mellow glass of famous Asari honey mead. Mystery Drink Whatever this is, it's rumoured to have come from the deepest reaches of the Traverse, distilled on a shadowy nameless planet by a specifically adapted Vorcher. The X-97D Viper Sniper Rifle Rapid Fire Military Sniper Rifle Incredibly accurate and deadly at long range, these weapons are popular against infiltrators and assassins. Very effective against armour, somewhat effective against shields and biotic barriers. Upgrades the Mantis Sniper Rifle. Rosenkopf materials developed this deadly weapon in response to the rising prevalence of kinetic barriers. While kinetic barriers still offer some protection from this weapon, its sheer power and rapid rate of fire make it capable of quickly killing almost any target, regardless of its defences. Modular Probe Bay, Probe Booster. Normandy gains 100% probe capacity and additional probes. The Scimitar Assault Shotgun. 
An elite military shotgun capable of rapid fire, this weapon is deadly at short range but ineffective at long range. Effective against shields and biotic barriers, but weak against armour, upgrades the Katana shotgun. Manufactured by Ariake Technologies, the scimitar features twin mass effect generators, giving it a more rapid rate of fire than a traditional shotgun. This weapon was created for the Eclipse Mercenary Band, but it is rapidly becoming popular with the Blood Pack Mercs as well. Extended Fuel Cells Helios Thruster Tech, the Normandy has 50% more fuel cell capacity. Engine retrofitted with Heed Industries designed Helios Thruster Module. Geth Shield Strength, Cyclonic Particles. Geth and Alliance technology diverged when Geth migrated beyond the Veil. While Geth technology is wholly incompatible with Alliance technology, this upgrade improves on Geth shielding by integrating recent Alliance advancements in redundant field generators. Heavy Pistol Critical, Smart Rounds Normandy scientists have prototyped a modification to the traditional smart targeting module commonly incorporated into high-end weaponry. While this technology is commonly used to compensate for wind and recoil, it was adapted to slightly deflect rounds to strike a more vital part of an enemy. SMG Shield Piercing, Phasic Jacketing A module in the Mass Effect Field Generator creates a phasic envelope around each slug before it is fired at a target. This disrupts any Mass Effect field protecting the target, resulting in superior penetration. SMG Extra Rounds, Heat Sink Capacity More efficient heat sink materials improve the absorption and dissipation of heat, allows for smaller, easier to carry heat sinks. Geth Sniper Rifle, Custom Widow Rifle with enough raw resources and an access to the armory lab, an advanced sniper rifle compatible only with Legion can be produced. 